Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Tango Oscar Mike. I am uh, on my way to help a ham get some antennas off his roof. Uh, he has a uh, garage, and he has antennas on the roof of the garage, and the garage needs a new roof, and the contractors won't do it until his antennas are gone. So me and a couple of other hams from my club are going to help him. Uh, unfortunately, he is an hour away. So it's going to be a two hour round trip. In a quarter of a mile, right turn onto Old Ridge Road. But hopefully, from what I understand, we probably won't be there very long, maybe an hour. And then we'll be, uh, and then I'll be back home. I get to cut the grass. Next right. And then family is coming over. Proceed about one mile to Woodrow Drive. And then family is coming over. And it's going to be a busy weekend. So uh, let's, uh, let's get this done. Well, we got the antennas off the roof. It was actually pretty easy. The majority of the time we were just talking, uh, you know, about ham radio, of course, but the antennas are down and he can get his roof replaced and then we'll probably be coming back out to help him put them back up. Um, but everything went really easy. The back corner of his roof is just a few feet off the ground. So he had some bricks, uh, some blocks stacked up. We literally could just like step right up onto the roof, which made it really easy. So uh, really easy to do. And uh, yep, now I gotta get home, cut the grass and uh, get ready for family coming over. Hey guys, Tank Oscar Mike. The audio is probably not great because I took my uh, media mod off my GoPro because we're on our way to do a kayak trip and uh, the media mod isn't waterproof so I took that off. As you can see kayaks are all loaded up ready to go. Paddles and everything's back here. Got a waterproof bag, life preservers for me and my wife and Augie. Um, first aid, some towels, a couple of other things. My water shoes but uh, yeah we're getting uh, Everything's strapped down. We're ready to go. Augie's going with us, obviously. Like I said, got his life jacket, but got to hurry up and get out of here. Stay down. No, I think. Yeah. 
I thought I'd do a little voiceover here. Um, me and Ogley were actually in the lead of the group uh, going down the river, and when I heard my wife scream, I turned around and started paddling back upstream. Um, the water isn't moving super fast here, and it's not super deep or anything like that. Um, in fact, you'll see me get out and stand in the water, but uh, it was cold, and my wife was a little chilly. Uh, we weren't wearing our life jackets. Augie was, but we weren't. Um, in PA, you only have to wear your life jacket from November 1st to April 30th. And I didn't think the water was that cold, but my wife got a little cold um, being in there. And she just wanted to get out of the water and into somebody else's kayak. So I paddled up so she could get into my kayak. Uh, the other people we were with paddled upstream, flipped her kayak over, and got it down to us. We had her paddle and everything. I think the only thing we lost was a uh, bottle of water that had fallen out that wasn't secured, but her phone and everything was uh, still anchored in the kayak and uh, and everything was good. But uh, it was uh, it was fun. You can hear her laughing about it afterwards, but uh, it was a good time. Laura, come here. Come here. Come here. Climb in. My boat will hold both of them. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Just climb in. Climb in. Give me your hands. 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 Give me your I thought, oh, I could just go right over this rock. And it tipped. It's okay. Just, you're okay. Then I kept going through those rapids and hitting every freaking rock. That's where you have your shoes on. Yeah, where's your shoes at? Yeah. They're yeah. floating They're, somewhere. We'll find them. You okay, Laura? Sure, Get my shoes, okay? It's cold. Woo! I'll wake you up. Hold my paddle. Hold him. Where's my paddle? Oh, your kayak just came free. The paddle? Yeah, it's not paddle. I saw a bottle or something floating down. Where's your phone and stuff? I have it. It's in there. Okay. Here. That's the sunlight. Stay. 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 Hopefully it's still in there because it, it attached the carabiner. There's, there's a, a what's clear bag attached to the kayak. Yeah, that's why it was my phone. It'll stay in there. I hope so. Ouch. <laughs> Woo. Okay, now I gotta pee. Thank you. Thank you. You have your towels? I'm glad you didn't give them away. Do you want a towel? Do you want a towel, hun? I heard that thing hit that rock. I came over, I thought, oh, I'll just scoot over this, and then it started to tip. I'm like, no, and I turned to the back, and then I just didn't work. Oh, it just hit me in the taint. Oh, yeah. I got your shoes, your oar. And uh, one can off. There was one missing. Um, it's it's the sunscreen. Yeah, we got it. That's that's anchored in there. Now, I got you. I, I was like, it was so it's cold. cold. I was I like, oh, <laughs> so, I don't know if it's rude or not. It appears to be. Yeah, got you. Hurts. Okay, you guys are floating. Stay. Stay. Hey, well. We got home from our kayak trip about 8 o'clock last night. We did 8 miles on the Yakagani River, uh, put everything away, <laughs> and uh, we stopped on the way home. Uh, a bunch of us went to eat on the way home, so we got home a little later than we wanted to. But we're just about to head out on our 10-mile Memorial Day hike. We're going to be going to Tomlinson Run State Park. It's in West Virginia. It's right across the border. Uh, it's a nice little park and great hiking trails, lots of elevation. It's going to be a rough one. Uh, Augie's having a rough day already. He didn't want to eat this morning. He's just uh, um, still recovering from yesterday. He had a rough day on the uh, river. He went swimming a lot. Uh, some of it was his own fault, and uh, he just wore himself out. But uh, that was the longest he's ever been in a kayak, but he did really good. But... Uh, 
Uh, we got them to eat just a little bit of food, and we're going to be heading out here and doing a, a nice uh, a nice hike through a beautiful park. And remember those who gave everything for the freedoms that we have. Memorial Day hike. Um, we did 10.01 miles in three hours, 50 minutes, and 39 seconds. We had uh, 1,686 feet of elevation gain during our hike. Uh, it was a good hike. Um, during the hike, we paused and I read the names of the 13 service members that were killed in uh, at the Kabul International Airport during the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Um, 170 Afghans also died during that suicide bombing during the withdrawal, um, which, you know, I'm no expert, but uh, I think that was kind of a cluster. But... Uh, I didn't get through the, the list of the 13 service members without choking up and uh, shedding a few tears. That's just the way I am. Augie had an awesome day. He's laying out here in the sun right now, chilling. We're cooking some burgers, and then i got to get a shower. We're going to head over to a friend's house to, uh, to enjoy even more freedoms. Uh, between the 8 miles yesterday and the uh, 8 miles in a kayak yesterday and the 10 miles... Uh, hiking today and uh, it's a little warm out it, it's it's rough we had one heck of an adventure weekend let me tell you um, and it's still not over uh, we're gonna have some fun have some fun this afternoon as well and uh, I hope everybody else is having a great memorial weekend enjoying the freedoms that uh, the fallen fought so hard to give us uh, it's the best way you can honor them uh, and remember them is to enjoy the freedoms that we have. I really do appreciate all the servicemen and women and those uh, who sacrificed everything for our freedoms. And I think it's important to to keep the that in mind, uh, not just on this weekend, but every day. And realize that there are people out there fighting for our freedoms and not to take it for granted but i think i'm going to wrap up this video this weekend video at this point and uh yeah i hope everyone's doing well this is tango oscar mike saying 73 take care